There's so much trial and error before we. We have so many. Leave me alone. Chloe, I don't like this shirt. Yeah, it looks stupid. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. In my place. I know. Hi, guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you've been here for a while, welcome back. <laughs> we decided to do a QA since we get the same questions. Over and all over the and time. Over and over. We picked about 14, right? Yeah, there's, 14. there's about 14 of them. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. So question one. How long have you been dating? It's a trick question because it is. It is. Realistically, are we saying two years though? I guess that's my answer. Okay, so we say two years, um, but we have known it. <laughs> Just lay down, Moses. Oh, well, he's ready. Okay, hold on. Let's Introducing see. Slick, okay. Like we said, it was kind of a tricky answer um, because I met him the summer of 2016. I was kind of rocky. We saw other people and then two to three years later, we decided to try again and here we are. So the next question is... Um, how old are you two? So I'm 23. I'm 28. <laughs> what are your zodiac signs? This is something that she has a vested interest in. Yeah, I do. Because I had to make sure we were compatible and we're actually not, our signs are not compatible at all. I'm but here we are. <laughs> I'm an Aquarius. And I'm an Aries. You're an Aquarius, like everyone else in my family. You're the whole thing. You're welcome. Are you two married and do you plan on starting a family? We are not married we yet. We are not married. There's no ring on my finger. The ring that you guys always see is normally on my right hand. Do we plan on starting a family? Yeah, we'd yeah. like to one day, but we're not like... We're not planning anything. It just happens when it happens. Yeah, we're not trying or not trying. Yeah, it's just if it happens, yeah. it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Pretty much. How did you two meet? I, I hear this question all the time. So funny story, true story. Welcome to Chili's. Um, he worked I at was Chili's. a server and bartender for four years, and she was a customer. And I saw his butt cheeks. Could you stop? Like, I did. That was your they, opportunity to say anything else? No, but. I couldn't. I saw them in those jeans. The host wants to be very specific, and I was like, oh my god, he has the cutest butt. And then I saw your face, and I was like, sold. To be fair, I was actually built back then. I was like so infatuated with you when I first saw you. And I remember thinking like, oh, he would never be interested in a girl like me. Which is funny. Like that, you, that even crossed your mind. Yeah, I mean, I've never been the one to shoot my shot. You didn't shoot your shot the first time you saw I me. I didn't, yeah. because I wasn't that girl. I mean, I am now to this day, but I'm saying like before, like a year ago, I would have never, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, so I saw him and I was like, he's definitely not into girls like me. Spoiler alert, I am. How are y'all handling the diversity in the world and have you two disagreed or agreed on the people of the world's actions at the moment? Um, so that was kind of phrased weird. Yeah. Um, we're on the same page with all the Black Lives Matter. We're on the same page with police brutality. Yes. Um, especially with me having a law enforcement background. The only disagreement we had, I guess, was about Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. And frankly, for me, like it was kind of like a military standpoint. It was, yeah, it was a military standpoint. When he did, when he kneeled in front of the flag, I, was, I just have so much military in my family. I was like, yo, like that's not right. Like my my military family was just all about the flag because to them that was the symbol of everything to them. So when I saw that he kneeled, I was just kind of like, yo, that's that's kind of busted. But I understand why he did it and everything. He took a platform and he he ran with it. So um, I just feel like a lot of people thought it was against the flag, but it had no literally nothing to do with the flag. It literally had- It was an iconic moment of silence that could be interrupted, and that's what he did. And he did it in a silent way. Yeah. And like and people yeah. just thought it was like about the yeah. flag, and it I, I, still to this day is not about the flag. At the time, I was just so much like, you could do a post, or you could make a brand, or I, I felt like you could do anything else but that, because I just felt like it was disrespectful to people in the military. But like I met and spoke with military people, even in my own family, who were just like, yeah. I'm glad he did it. That was his opportunity to do it and he did it in a respectful way. So that's when I kind of reverted back. But it was, that's something that we were just kind of like, eh, about. Do you guys feel the pressure of being couple goals for people? I do not, frankly, because I don't care enough. I'm glad we have people that follow us. I'm glad we have supporters. But at the same time, it's like, I'm not going to take the pressure of anything. We're no different than anyone else. 
I always say, um, and I always said when I had a platform, like I would be myself. I'd be unapologetically myself. Yeah. And like, a, if we're going through something, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. You know what I mean? Like, no. I'm not gonna post yeah, it either. Yeah, you're a pain. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm not gonna post it, but I'm also not gonna sugarcoat it and act like I'm fine. Yeah. Because there's so many couples that I've seen that have literally crumbled because they don't take time off the camera to just focus on like them. Yeah, because seriously, we like, won't the, be that couple. At the end of the day, like this is still about us, and like we come before. Pretty much, we're just posting, and if you guys want to watch it, cool. But we're not posting for anyone, if that makes sense. Yeah. No, we don't feel the pressure of being couple goals. No. We we're didn't glad, even we're think we people, were a couple goals. We're glad people think that of us, so yeah, that's kind of a nice compliment. We didn't think we were. What was your first impressions of each other, and when did you know you loved each other? So my first impression of him was he was a total jock. I thought you were a sport head. That's fair. And I thought that you were into, like I said, blonde hair, blue-eyed sorority girls. It's my family. Like, that's and they I don't know, I just, I don't know. I just okay. thought, like, yeah, I just thought you were super into yourself. Like, you know, guys who know that they're hot. Uh, that's just Spoiler crazy alert, I'm super insecure. Okay. It's crazy. Um, and then how did I know when I loved him? Okay, so funny story. Um, maybe a year into us saving, he would get mad at me because he'd be like, why aren't you in love with me yet? And I would say, you'll just know. Like when I am, you'll just know. Do you know? Yeah. Okay. I told you. No, yeah, you're right. But like, when was that day? I always want to say it's New Year's Eve, but it wasn't. You love saying that, yeah. But it it's not that day. It it's a very it specific day. It was New Year's day, Eve 2019. But it wasn't that day. My first impression of her, I was shocked in a way because I guess she saw me before I saw her. But when I finally yeah. did get to serve her at Chili's, I was making, like I always do, smart such comments. Oh my God, you were so mean. Yeah, though. but you were coming back with them. Yeah, I was. And I was just like, finally, somebody who can like rebuttal <laughs> yeah and like not just be like oh my god he's a jerk or like no. to have somebody who just gave that energy back and was not so offended i was just, this is refreshing it was nice so i knew i loved her when i was going through some family stuff at the time and i had packed up and moved away very very short notice and we went our separate ways in that 72 hour period where i was like okay my transfer was put in i'm getting ready to leave i'm going away i was like i think i shouldn't have let her go you never told me that. I know. Aww. That's when I was like, okay, like there's something about her. But I didn't let it change anything because I had to get away. Yeah. For my own safety, I had to leave. So and you I, didn't tell me. I didn't tell anyone. You didn't tell the me. The only but, people no, that, Now that you were leaving, you didn't tell me, well, anything. You didn't tell me that I, you were leaving or that you left, My left friends didn't. I had one of my best friends living five doors down from me in our apartment complex. He didn't even know I was gone until after I was gone. The only people that knew I was leaving was the people I was moving in with and my job. But yeah, so that was... I guess in a way that's when I knew that I loved her that I, and I, it really hurt me that I was leaving the area and I wasn't sure what was going to happen from there. What are your favorite things about each other? I've said this in videos before. This is my favorite answer ever. I love how I don't start. I don't hear that often. And I feel like you're just like different. I don't feel like I'm generous. You are though. But like that's the thing. Like I don't feel like it, but then I think about my actions and I'm like I really am. Like mm -hmm. it's just crazy to me. Mm -hmm. But no one's ever physically said like, "Oh, like yeah. you're generous." So that's my favorite thing about her. I don't oh, am I supposed to say? Yeah, you're supposed to put an answer there. I mean, I don't mean anything, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're kind. You're so nice. And I always joke with you, and I'm always like, "Oh, you're such an ass," but you're. You would literally drop anything for me if I yeah, needed you. Yeah, of course. You. All right, next question. Would you change anything about your partner? Her attitude. Oh my god. If I had a dollar for every time you were rude when I got home. So those memes, or memes, memes, where people are like, my girlfriend over text message, and she's like super sweet. I can't wait to see you. <laughs> I want cuddles. Let's go to dinner. I miss you. And then you get there and she's just flicking you off. That's literally how I live every day of my life. Because even like, even today, for instance, I'm getting ready to leave for work. She's like, no, stay. I'm getting ready to get off work and a good friend of mine's moving away. And I'm, like, I'm gonna go grab lunch with him because he's moving away. He's like, fine, you don't love me then. Bet, okay, I see how it is. That's I'll true. remember that. I told you to Ooh. go. Don't ever lie like that. I told him to go. So what would you change about me? Cause I know you would. Yo, yeah. Oh yeah. Slip I right clean everything. 
I literally went grocery shopping yesterday and got everything. I did all of the rest of our laundry and I cleaned the whole apartment. And he comes home, showers, mm. which is great, right? As I'm making dinner, guess who decides he wants to be a bartender for the night? My whole counter is flooded. I just put a whole rag down. All my stuff was on the rag. There was no mess. He doesn't clean. And then he just smiles about it because he knows that I can't even be mad because he works his ass off. To be fair though, when I had my own place, my place was spotless. Yeah, and because you have me who does everything for you, you're like, eh, take off my shirt, eh, take off my boxers, eh, throw away my towel. What annoys you that each one does? I have another answer. Oh God. Okay. I'll be doing nothing at all. You know, just come up to him and be like, oh my God! <laughs> And he'll just squeeze my butt really hard. And he does it all the time. Okay. The only thing that you do that annoys me. Okay. Is when you're like, yeah, babe, you can do that. Whether it's PlayStation, <laughs> or going to play baseball, or going to play basketball, or going to grab dinner with my friends. So She's always like, yeah, it's fine, you can go. And we went to go play basketball when I got off work. So I came home, changed, was gone. I was gone for three hours. That's a long time. Okay, play three games. hours to play basketball with my friends. So I get home at seven o'clock at night, which really like is it's, late. It's not late. <laughs> she is being so rude to me just because she was feeling clingy, and it's Saturday, and I even offered her to go with me. It was hot. Have you guys ever broken up? Yes and yes. A lot. And yes. A lot. And yes. That kind of ties into an answer from before when I said that we like met and then things didn't work out. We met, yeah. he thought I wasn't good enough for him and he Wow. Was, and that's what happened. He told me to screw off, so I left. I found me someone else who was gonna take care of me. <laughs> I'm just messing You're with so you. annoying. <laughs> I'm just messing. Yes, we have broken up a we lot. We've broken up. We've we had put a lot each of other through some hell. But we came back on tap. Do I have a brother? No. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I have a sister who's engaged. He has a sister that's engaged. And everyone's always like, well, is she gay? And I'm like, no. Yeah, and she's not a lesbian. What challenges have you faced as an interracial couple? No one's ever like, questioned the fact like, that, you dated a that you're dating a black girl. Like, no one's ever... You know no, because I, mean? I feel like it kind of makes sense. Like, as like naive and as plain to say it, like, as bad as it is to say it that way, it's like, it's kind of like it made sense for me. Yeah. But, I don't know. I feel like we deal with stares. I deal with it all the time. Deal with it all the time. If I'm talking about, like, not in person, because people are not crazy. They're just not, because I'm the right one. <laughs> but online, I was tagged in an Instagram page um, that was posting our videos and was getting like 60K plus views. And I was reading through the comments, and there was this person who like wrote this entire scripture and was like, God doesn't support interracial dating, you guys are sinning, he's not the one for you, you need a black king. I deal with it all the time though, everyone's always like, why aren't you with a black guy, like you deserve a black guy, if the revolution comes, he's gonna like leave you here. Shut the hell up. I don't get it. I don't get it, I didn't get it either, so I literally just deleted it and locked. But yes, we do deal with racism. I will say like, I deal with it at work quite a bit. Yeah. Because like, people, and I, it's both ways. Like sometimes, like black people, like they'll judge me in one type of way. But like when I open up my phone, my background is her, and they're like, "You have a black girlfriend?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And all of a sudden, the tone's different. Like the entire environment, the entire yeah. transaction is different. Everything changes. And it goes the other way too. Like white people will make comments because I'm white. They think that I am also as ignorant and racist. And then when I'm not on their side, they're just so taken back by it and they're so shocked. I, I guess we do face it in a weird way. I don't deal with it as firsthand because... No, because people aren't crazy. Well, yeah, I'm 6'4", 240 pounds. <laughs> I'm 5'3", 107. They still ain't crazy. <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. We don't, we take it with a grain of salt because at the end of the day, we'll never see these people again or they just don't matter enough. Our relationship's about us, not what matters. But we appreciate y'all. Um, like and subscribe and comment any new questions um and you can also find us on tiktok um, and instagram and yeah that is it for today's video and i hope to see you all in the next